good morning everyone so first of all i introduce myself myself anapan gopal assistant professor department of zoology maharajas college autonomous jayanagar so in this class in this video i would like to discuss only the general characters of mammalia so before going to that there are so many people they are asking sir uh, you told the 30 characters like that how can we remember all like that? then i given one simple trick that is if you know your body then automatically you can write in your exam without forgetting any one point also brief introduction about the mammalia mama means breast the breast containing organs is called mammalia so the breast for feeding the word mammalia was coined by linnaeus the study of mammals are called mammalogy i think you all know about the the geological time scale so i will explain the geological time scale in one more video and here the golden age of mammals is cenozoic era and 4629 species of mammals are present in world and 37 species of mammals are present in india so the body is divided into head neck trunk and tail and why it's called mammalia because the mammary glands are present that's why it's called mammalia and mammary glands are present in both male and females but these are functional only in females skin is covered with hair except in cetacea that means whales and skin has sweat and sebaceous glands so mammals are warm blooded animals because they can control their body temperature they cannot change their body temperature with surrounding environment the nasal passage and buccal cavity both are separated from the hard palate that is here their hard palate is present the lower side of the only one bone that is dentary bone like this u shaped dentary bone is present like this the teeth on the jaw are tichodont and heterodontite if the teeth are present only one type that means they are same in structure and function it's called homodont if they are present in different shapes and different functions also it's called heterodont type here this is homodont they are same in structure it's called homodont they present in different structures it's called heterodont and tichodont means the teeth are embedded in the za the teeth are three types that is acrodont and pleurodont and thecodont acrodont means the teeth are present only peripheral region of the jaw and pleurodont means it present little bit embedded and sides of the jaw and thecodont means that they are embedded in the sockets of the jaw it's called thecodont vocal cords are present here they are act as a sound box organ it's called larynx called larynx you know different types of teeth are there here here there is larynx larynx and next one the glottis is protected by the fleshy cartilage is called epiglottis and one more point is the epiglottis separates the food cavity and nasal passage just look at this picture so if any food particle is entered if any food particle is enter this throw into what esophagus the ribs have two heads that is capitulum and tuberculum it's called dicocephalic ribs you know look at this picture capitulum and tuberculum two heads are present here this square is called dicocephalic ribs and the limbs you no know, we have two pairs of limbs are present it's called pentadactyl limbs here five digits are present so 
the limbs are adapted for various types of life like walking running swimming burrowing climbing etc the muscular diaphragm separates the thoracic and abdominal cavities four types of salivary glands are present in mammals but in humans only three types of salivary glands are present that is parotid gland and submandibular and sublingual the infra orbital gland is absent in humans infra orbital gland is absent so look at this picture parotid gland submandibular gland and sublingual gland outer ear or external ear or pinna is present so i will show the picture the external ear or pinna is present and in the middle ear there are three bones are present that is malus incus stapes malus incus stapes and stapes is the smallest bone in our human body so in the inner ear in the inner ear it is contain the coiled structure the structure is called cochlea so on this cochlea one particular part is present here cochlea particular part is present the organ of corti the organ of corti this organ of corti is the what you call earring organ the four chambered heart is present with only left aortic arch and matured arbaces is enucleated that means there is no nucleus and kidney is metanephric and the extremity metal is urea the skull is dicondylic optic lobes are four in number that is called corpora quadrigemina here the cervical vertebrae are present seven in number okay 12 pairs of cranial nerves are present so uh, in next slide i will show the all 12 pairs and the male has one copulatory organ that is called penis and sexes are separate and fertilization is internal development is direct development that means there is no any intermediate stages and all are viviparous that means they are producing egg ones not eggs except protheria the egg laying mammals and the muscular and vascular connection called placenta is formed between the mother and the fetus and here parental care is seen so here there are 12 pairs of cranials already given in this picture so now i will show the notes okay you can note down so introduction mammalian breast linnaeus mammalogy cynodicera and 4 6 to 9 species in world and 37 species in india just i will revise the total 30 points and here head the trunk tail and mammary glands are present but function only in females and hair except in cetaceans certain sebaceous glands are present warm blooded animals dentary bone thecodont heterodont and vocal cords are present in la vocal cords present in larynx and glottis is protected by epiglottis epiglottis separates the food cavity and nasal passage dicosephalic ribs pentadactyle diaphragm salivary glands pinna malus incus stapes so no i will read only the what do you call the highlight point only okay and tall pairs of canals and copulate organ is penis sex are separate fertilization is internal development is direct viviparous animal placenta and parental care is seen so there are the 30 points 30 points the cell for the four more question if anybody ask describe the general characteristics of mammals so you can write only 16 to 20 points that's enough so if you forget any one point then you can just recall your body parts then you can easily write this answer okay thank you thank you one and all